Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Ozobot is getting ready to go trick-or-treating and needs your help choosing a costume and to visit as many houses as possible in 30 seconds. You will use color codes to help Ozobot navigate around a map of a neighborhood and solve math problems to collect candy. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated. Your color code markers, a pencil, scissors, tape, and all three pages of your Ozobot trick-or-treat activity sheets. In today's lesson, you will use color codes to program your bot to travel to different houses on your map, collect data about the sequence of houses your bot travels to, and solve math equations to collect candy. It's time to help Ozobot get ready to go trick-or-treating. To begin, you will need a map of the neighborhood and your color code markers. Do you see where Ozobot will start? Great job reading your map. The first missing color code shown with four boxes is labeled 30 second timer. This tells you the exact color code to put in the missing boxes to program Ozobot to run for 30 seconds and then stop. I will add the color code sequence red, black, blue, green to program my bot to run on a timer. Directionality or the way Ozobot is traveling is important so it reads color codes correctly. At the end of each street or path, we will add a U-turn color code. This tells your bot to turn around at the end of each street. I will add the color sequence blue, red at the end of each path. Can you use your color code markers to put the 30 second timer and U-turn color codes on your map? Now that you've added mandatory color codes to program your bot to run on a timer and to turn around at the end of each path, the other missing color codes are your choice. On your sheet, there is a color codes key. The color codes to choose from program Ozobot to move at a certain speed or turn in a certain direction when it comes to an intersection or two lines that come together. I will think about the houses I want Ozobot to visit and choose color codes to program Ozobot to move to those houses quickly. When you put in your color codes, remember to think of the direction your bot is traveling. For example, I will add the turn left at intersection code so that my bot will move to houses 219, 217, and 215. Then I will use straight at intersection for my bot to move to houses 221 and 223. Next, I will program Ozobot to turn right to move towards the next street. Can you use the color codes key and your color code markers to complete the path Ozobot will follow around the neighborhood? Great job helping Ozobot come up with a plan for the houses it will visit. Before Ozobot can go trick-or-treating, it needs to put on a costume. Look at the trick-or-treat costume maker sheet. There's a blank template for you to create a costume for Ozobot to wear, or you can choose one of the costumes already made for you. My Ozobot is going to dress up as a monster, so I cut out the costume and put it on my bot like this using tape. What will your Ozobot dress up as? Can you use crayons, color pencils, or markers to draw and color the costume template or choose a costume Ozobot will wear? Ozobot is all dressed up and ready to go trick-or-treating. While Ozobot makes its way around the neighborhood to collect candy, you will collect some data or information. Look at the chart on your trick-or-treat data sheet. 
The first column shows the sequence or order of houses Ozobot will visit. The second column is where you will write the house number to record the route or path Ozobot follows in the neighborhood. Let's watch my Ozobot go trick-or-treating. First, it passes house number 219, then 217, then 215, then 221, then 223, then 216, 214, and 224. It's your turn. Put your bot on start, then watch which houses Ozobot visits and record the house numbers on the data chart in the same order. Ozobot had so much fun trick-or-treating around the neighborhood. Now it needs your help to find out how much candy it collected. Depending on the map you used, you may be practicing addition, multiplication, or division facts. My map is addition. The first house my Ozobot went to is 219. So if I look back at the map, I see the equation for this house is 2 plus 2. I am going to write this equation in the third column of my data chart labeled equation. Then I will solve the equation 2 plus 2 equals 4. I will write the solution in the fourth column labeled sum. At the first house, my Ozobot got four pieces of bubble gum. I've got some more math to do so I can find out how much candy Ozobot got from the other houses it visited. Can you write the equations that match the house numbers your bot visited and solve each equation to find out how much candy it collected? Wow, Ozobot collected a lot of candy. Great work applying your math skills to help Ozobot find out how much candy it has. Ozobot has a couple more questions for you. Look below the data chart on your sheet. Ozobot wants to know which candy it got the most of and which candy it got the least of. Hmm, I wonder how I could figure that out. Do you have any ideas? I like your idea to add. I will find the sum or total number of bubblegum pieces, gummy bears, lollipops, and candy bars. My Ozobot got the most gummy bears and the least bubblegums. Can you find the sum or total of the different kinds of candy your bot collected? Remember to check your work. You should have a completed neighborhood map, a costume for your Ozobot, a completed data chart. Your work should also show how Ozobot follows the color codes to move quickly around the neighborhood for 30 seconds. Come back again soon for your next lesson.